The other night I was answering an email from a Christian YouTuber. He asked me what kind of evidence I would need to believe in the Bible God. It is true, I was not on the same page with him. I was a Christian for 40 years, and not the name-only Christians we run into here on YouTube. I was one who really read the Bible, all of it, and studied it. The part of his question that got me thinking was the wanting God to strike you blind part. Knowing the Bible and the characters there, I checked through them in my mind looking for any who were struck blind. Paul tells two conflicting stories about his encounter with a spiritual Jesus on the road to Damascus involving a bright light, but he was not permanently blinded. With this inventory fresh in my mind, here is how I answered the email. According to the Bible, God appeared to Moses on more than one occasion. There was the burning bush and a couple others. It even says God spoke to Moses face to face as one speaks to a friend. God spoke with Adam and Eve, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He sent angels to Abraham, Mary, Lot, and many others. The whole of the Hebrew nation, two million strong, witnessed the parting of the Red Sea, manna from heaven, and assorted other demonstrations of the reality of God. God stopped the sun in the sky for Joshua. The disciples witnessed Jesus raise the dead, walk on water, restore sight to the blind, turn water into wine, and even raise himself from the dead and ascend into the clouds. It seems that most every character in the Bible was given proof of the reality of the Bible God. Solid, unequivocal proof. Would Paul have stopped killing Christians and become a true believer had not Jesus knocked him on his butt on the road to Damascus and spoke to him from a bright light? I think not. By the way, this is the same Paul who preaches that we should believe without proof. What a hypocrite. He didn't have to have a nickel's worth of faith himself. My scholarship of the Bible also tells me that in no less than five places in the Bible, in five different books, that God is not a respecter of person. It says in no uncertain terms that he treats everyone exactly the same. Even more emphatically, the Bible tells us that God is unchanging. He is the same today, yesterday, and forever. You asked what evidence I need to believe in the reality of the Bible God. I need the same type that was provided to Moses, Paul, Abraham, Noah, the disciples, etc. Why am I required to believe without proof when the characters of the Bible didn't have to? If God is not a respecter of persons and is also unchanging, then he must treat me the same as he did the people in the Bible. If he is not going to treat me the same, then to condemn me for my non-belief is unjust. If he does not provide to me the same proof as he did to those in the Bible, then God is a liar. If he is a respecter of persons and has changed, then the Bible is a lie. Take your pick. I have not received a response from this YouTube Christian, but from experience, I'm sure if I do, he will just change the subject. What do you think is the reason that we are not given the same proof as were the characters of the Bible?